time for you to back off. There's not a Sunday that you can come in here and say, I'm just not going to shout as loud today. I'm just not going to sing as aggressive. I think I'll scroll my phone for a while. us decides to go on mute with our voice is a moment that one demonic imp rises up and says oh there's a quiet one there's a quiet one there's a quiet one there's one who's not entering there's one who's not vocalizing there's one who's not singing at the high place there's one all they need is one I see every time if you won't revival my friends those of you who are watching and you watch this place and you hear the sound of this place you better open up and unlock the voice of your heart and of your church and of your city and of your region because if you don't unlock it demonic principalities will sing their song on the high place got to keep going got to keep going Keep singing, keep vocalizing. <laughs> Got to keep moving things out of the way. Because what happens is, every time that we make a sound in this place, be it voice, clap, stomp, drums, come on. That's why the drums are so powerful. It's not that the other instruments are not. But what happens is when that sound, you break the air. Watch this. Air does this. It moves. This is for a point. Air moves. It moves. If we're going to keep moving things in the spirit and keep moving things out of the way, we must continually cry loud and spare not. The voice must be unlocked because things must be moved out of the way. Trust me when I say that there are hungry hearts all across this nation today in the body of Christ. But there are many barriers and many have not been equipped with the wineskin of knowing how to move them out of the way. Did you hear what I said? So we're following old protocol wanting new things. That's a word. We've lost the movement of the spirit because we've lost the voice of the spirit in the church. The movement is called sound waves. My God, this is good. Look how much you can get from Wikipedia. Come on. We've lost the movement of the spirit because we've lost the voice of the spirit. Pastor, those of you who are tuning in to be antagonistic against revival and you just want to watch and do whatever, listen to me. Stay tuned in just a few more minutes. The reason why you have no oil and no moving of the spirit in your church, the reason why your preaching is dry and you have to make up jokes and you have to be like a game show host or something, the reason why... The reason why is because you shut down the voice of the Spirit. You shut down altars, you shut down encounters, you shut down the, 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 the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and you expect to have a move of God, you will not have a move of God. You will, you'll have a move of flesh, you'll have a, a move of intellect, you'll have a move of, of, of Disneyland, you'll have a move of uh, something like that, but you will not have a move of God. Hear me now. What this nation needs, what we need is a move of God. If we're gonna have God move, then we have to unlock our revival voice. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Prepare the way of the Lord. Come on. Sound prepares the way. Sound prepares the way. Sound prepares the way. The movement, the sound waves, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going until you do this. Are you with me? Sound prepares the way. The way I see it, if you choose not to find your voice, I'm using Apostle Rick's terminology, you willfully allow obstacles and barriers to remain there, delaying the entrance of revival and the King of Kings. Come on, somebody. You willfully delay. 
We delay the entrance of the king. We delay revival. We sit idle as territories are claimed at the high places by demonic voices calling out to other gods. Come on. Calling out to demonic demon gods over cities and over territories. That's how important my voice. That's how important your voice is. That's how important. It grieves my heart when I see believers and they don't understand the value of exercising their praise and their intercession and their worship. Come on. And their shout and their their contending. It grieves my heart. And I just came to make religion mad. Come on, somebody. And unlock the voice of revival. Sound moves things out of the way. Sound prepares the way. Preparation is readiness and order. It's, it's clearing out barriers. It's breaking up uncultivated uncult- ground, preparing the way. What is the way? The way is the passage for the Lord to enter in. He's the one that we want. His presence, Jesus, is the one that we want. We've already felt him this morning, but we, the way has to be prepared. Stay with me. I'm taking you come somewhere. We want the Lord because it is the Lamb of God. It is the Lion of the tribe of Judah that comes in and brings transformation. But hindrances must be put pushed out of the way. This is why we must have our revival voices unlocked because the Lord says in this house, there is a call and utterance and a sound and it has an authority of eternity. So prepare the way. Scream it at your neighbor. Prepare the way. John the Baptist was a voice who prepared the way. John the Baptist was a voice who cleared the way and establish the kingdom authority at high places. I take you now to John chapter 1 verse 22 and 23 and they said to him, to John who are you? Who are you? This was religion. Who are you? Tell us so that we may give an answer to those who sent us. (laughs) What do you say about yourself? And he said, and he said, I am the voice of one crying aloud in the wilderness, the voice of one shouting in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord. Level, straighten out the path of the Lord as the prophet Isaiah said. Come on. Who are you, John? I am a voice and I move things out of the way for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I am a voice and I shift things so that glory can move in. I am a voice and I prepare the path so that the glory can be ushered in. It's time to unlock the revival voice across this nation. Prepare the way. Prepare the way. Your TED Talks and your palatable nonsense will not open atmospheres and prepare the way for glory. We have humanistic kinds of operation within the walls of our churches today because there are not voices. There are parrots. Are you hearing me? There are no voices. There are not any voices. There are parrots of somebody else's thoughts and ingenuity. I say enough of the parrots. Unlock the voices so that revival can be ushered in to this nation. Stop following the protocol of humanistic ideas and unlock the voice that is from the halls of eternity and beats on the inside of 